Hi, Roy Oppenheim from Oppenheim Law. I want to talk today a little bit about why it's important if you are selling a home that, it's a, that you get a proper size deposit. If you have a buyer and they're only giving you a small deposit and you're the seller, uh, the problem is that if the buyer walks, all you have is this nominal deposit. You want to have a substantial deposit so that if they do walk, A, uh, they're going to feel it. B, you've actually gotten some consideration for the time and effort that they have caused you. And C, the bigger the deposit, the higher the likelihood that you're going to close. They have skin in the game, and that skin is going to keep them moving forward. If they have a nominal amount, I mean, I've seen closings for a half a million dollars where someone puts down $5,000. No, if it's a half million dollar closing, they should be putting down probably 10%, $50,000, or maybe $25,000, and then after due diligence, another twenty five. dollars But, you know, you know, where people are, are, are financing 95 or 99%, which is not 99, but let's say 95%, and they put down five or $10,000, it's not really enough. I mean, they may just be there trying to flip the property and they're not serious buyers. So you wanna make sure that you have serious buyers. And the way you make sure you have a serious buyer is you get a serious deposit. And, and I wanna just tell realtors this specifically because a lot of times they'll bring a buyer and then they don't have a lot of cash and they're not putting down a big deposit. And so they're, they're fooling themselves. They're spending all this effort, all their time, and they're not going to build goodwill in the real estate community if uh, the seller ends up not closing. Now, if you're representing the buyer, and the buyer may be happy with you, but they're not making you money because every time they do this, it doesn't close. So let's get real deposits and let's get real. Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches.